with all of that out of the way, uh, we have 29 videos to go through. So this is going to be a pretty thick video to watch on YouTube. I expect only those who are interested in either Persona 5 The Royal themselves or my interest in Persona 5 would probably sit through and watch all of these. I will be sure to leave um, timestamps and all of that stuff in the, in the description or in the comments. For those of you who want to see specific reactions of mine, I'm just excited to play. I'm, I'm super looking forward to this new character, about all of the other new confidants and the new story that's going to be forming, um, you know, with everything like Akechi and, um, you know, basically a lot of different things that are happening or the fact that maybe life did change for them after Persona 5 or maybe this is a parallel extension of Persona 5. I have no clue. But with all of that said, I am going to rewatch the Kasumi trailer just so I can kind of refresh my memory because it has been a few months since I've seen it. But other than Kasumi, everything else is brand new. So let us jump into this. Also, quick shout out to um, Lettuce Sauce, who, I'm, who all of these videos were curated in this playlist by uh, a friend of mine, um, Black Sun Studios in the chat here. I appreciate it, Gerald. He kind of curated this playlist for everything that I missed out on in the last couple of months of Persona 5 The Royal, um, just to make sure I picked up on everything. And these have all been translated by the Lettuce Sauces YouTube channel, which I'm no stranger of because they've done a bunch of the songs for Persona that I kind of listen to in my spare time and whatnot. So shout out to Lettuce Sauce, shout out to Jaro. Thank you guys very much. I, I appreciate it. And without further ado, also really quick, I need to give you a like on this video. <laughs> all right, in three, two, one, now. Kasumi Yoshizawa! Let's go. How's the audio, guys? Let me know. Yo! I can't wait. Yo, I'm not even lying. She's not leaving my party. Like, period. She's never leaving my party. <laughs> that was fast. But this time... Wow, he actually went through a lot of the effort to put in those, uh... To put in the the changes. Wow, he even translated the the dialogue options. I cannot wait. That was disgusting. <laughs> My mind and body are fully charged. <laughs> Dude, the music is gonna be so dope. It can't be. Yo, Persona! The Cinderella one, right? Cendrillon. Goddamn. This is a new palace, too. I don't know if this is her palace? Like, are we pulling, like, a Futaba palace thing? Where we can go into, like, the Confidant palaces if they have one? Or if that's just, like, a remix palace of someone that we've already been to, like, uh like Kamoshidas or something like that. This is gonna be the first trailer that I haven't seen and it's my boy, Ryuji. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, now. Ryuji! Oh, I miss you so much. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I have a request. A new way of fighting? What? No! Let's go, my boy! Uh, Yo, I like that jacket! We're at the amusement park. <laughs> they think it's weird, should it? Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay because I'm angry. Are you drunk? Go alone? Oh man, I can't wait to ride it. You're not gonna cry later, are you? Let's go! Ryuji, you're like my best friend in this game. Please come back safely. Yo! What? What? No way! What the fuck? William! Hello? <laughs> you get confused! That's a third awakening! William was like based on... <laughs> what the hell? Combination <laughs> Oh my god, wait, wait a minute. Okay, okay, so he had Captain Kid, Captain Kid, and Sun Wukong. 
And w wasn't William the, the the pirate, like the king of the pirates of that lore? When you read Captain Kid's like when you read Captain Kid's lore description, so that's like the true pirate that he ends up getting. Dude. <laughs> and he has like he has like uh, like earphones. Yo. Must uh. What is this? This is like a combination attack. You can see the Sayori in the back. Wolf's beef. <laughs> Yo. Did Yusuke, like, open up his own shop or something? Oh, uh, look at that. He's like, that's a perfect vision right there. Wow. I love pork and chicken, too. And ramen on top of that. What? Wait, wait, there's more? You really got in the university? Keep it down, idiot. I'm not sure yet. That's all they need. That's all they said. What? Did, did things work out for him? You really got scouted by a university. Wait, is Ryuji back on the track team? Oh! Still, that's great. You were a high rank at the national convention too. Yo, my boy! <laughs> Dude! Dude, life literally changed. How is this possible? Dude, this is literally Persona 6. This is not even Persona 5. This is such a different game. Also, I just noticed the festival thing took place in January. So this is after everything that's happened. See, that's what I don't understand. Like, do we still fight Yalgabalth in... In, like, the final boss, do we still fight him in December? And then... Because then I'm wondering, like, wait, did we agree? Did Yalgaba... Is this, like, a projection of the God of Control? Is he giving us what we want? Is this, like, a false reality? I don't know. I want to believe this shit, but I don't know. <laughs> this is, like, what I want for everyone, but it almost seems too good to be true. And I'm wondering how Kasumi plays a role in all of that, because she's, like... She's, like, the new character and everything. Dude, a third awakening?! <laughs> Holy shit, William! And the music too! The Sayori in the background, look at that! Fox opened up his own shop! Itadakimasu! Fox is beef bowl! Wow! <laughs> Did Fox want to always become like a chef or something besides being like an artist? Holy shit. That is so crazy cool. So we have team attacks, third persona awakenings, and like an alternate, like this is like a different life for them. This kid literally like, oh my god. He's back on the track team. He doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> okay, let's do the next one. On to Kamaki. Kakamaki. Oh my god, Lady On. <laughs> oh. I probably separated the fabric from the frame when I throw it out. Separate. Something like that. Oh, Jesus. Sugoi, amazing. You're so high spirited. You'll be a great wife someday. One day. Shiro! Oh my god! She's okay! Oh my god! I literally feel like I shouldn't be watching this! Like, this is crazy! Overkill. <laughs> And on. That's like a dream come true for him. Dude! She ho! I hope she's a confidant! Oh my god, dude! Okay, so everyone doesn't get an extra thing. So, yo, I literally feel like I'm spoiling the game for myself. <laughs> 
I have like no idea how, like I just feel in my heart like, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be watching this. I should just wait for the game to come out. But it's so much shit they're throwing at us that it's like, I can't wait. Shiho is a thing! And we get to see her at the end. Wow. She looks so different, so happy. And she's at that different school, right? Like, she switched schools. It's a small room, so please be careful. Oh, shoot, we're in An's room? Oh, God, the ultimate charm right there. And then Morgana's like, keep your hands off my woman. <laughs> as expected, as expected, Lady On. Dude, okay, so... Ryuji and Yusuke have a combination attack. An and Morgana have a combination attack. I'm trying to think who would be better paired with whom for combination attacks now. Jeez, that's so sick. All right. I really... Dude, Shiho! Okay, Yusuke. Oh! <laughs> oh, the beach moment? Let's go, my boy. Let's go, Inari. Yusuke, what's that? Something. A three-minute hourglass. Nani? It's because Futaba likes cup noodles. What? Wanna drink Master's coffee? Also, I'd like some curry too and dessert if you have. Yo, is he trying to be a chef now? Do you have any money? <laughs> if I scrounge up all my money. Dude! Coffee Dad! Sojiro! I have an idea. Succeed, I need your help. Sorry, but can I ask you to help? Yo, you need to be his muse, his inspiration! Yo! <laughs> what?! One-bladed?! <laughs> wow! Okay, so on and- so everybody! Also, that was broken as hell! 1300 damage? Dude! Can everybody combine attacks with each other? Because I thought everyone was exclusive, but Yusuke just did one with, with Ryuji and with On. Holy shit, that's all. It makes sense that On that did one with, with Morgana, because Morgana's like smitten for her. Dude! Okay, so here's another thing too, right? In my base playthrough, also, shout out to, uh, to Sojiro Sakura. It's so great to see him again too. God, I can't wait. I can't wait to play this game again. I love this game. I love these characters so much. And it just seems like so much that they're jam-packing into like the last like three months of the game. Right? January, February, and March. Like the extra semester. But like... I don't know. I... I... So, f for me in particular, the two characters in my main team that I neglected the most in my first playthrough was On and Yusuke. And... I, 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 like, I'm still kicking myself in the ass for that. Like, I watch so, I've watched so many different people play Persona 5 for the first time, whether it was their first Persona or not, and everybody else's playthrough was so much more well-rounded than mine because I was so stuck in my fucking tunnel vision, like, from Persona crafting to the characters that I spent time with outside of the metaverse to the people that I kept in my party. Um, and I really neglected On and Yusuke to the point where I really didn't get the most out of their character or their confidant storylines or like them as characters. Um, I did like Yusuke. I think I took Yusuke further in his confidant than On. Um, and Haru as well, but I always felt Haru was the, <clears throat> I always felt it, I didn't feel as bad with Haru because you get her in the fifth palace and I still hadn't finished the character confidant relationships that I had before I ended up getting her. So, like, I had On before any of them, and I neglected her, and I got Yusuke before, way before Haru, and I neglected him, and then getting Haru, I just felt overwhelmed by everything else that I was already focusing on. So, I don't know, I, I really, really, really want to give everyone a proper shake, a proper chance, uh, especially the characters that I missed out on 
in my first playthrough. And On and Yusuke are going to be ones that I put to the forefront and focus on primarily. Um, like, immediately after I get them. Just because my first playthrough wasn't exactly the perfect one that I, that I like looking back on it. I hate thinking about that. <clears throat> I'm being, like, straight up. Like, I hate my first... Like, I love it because it was my first playthrough. But looking at how I played it and how tunnel visioned I was playing it. I fucking hate my first playthrough and I'm glad that I'm getting like a second chance like a Persona 5 the Royal to like really do it right because I know how the game works I know what to go for I know what to focus on I know that I will have enough time to focus on Haru if everything else that I've done up to that is is smooth sailing Yusuke I promise I'm gonna give you the respect the love and care that you deserve because you're awesome and you deserve it that's so sick <laughs> I'm just like Strike suppose. Oh man. I want it. So, do any of these other characters get moments afterwards? Like, okay, okay, so there's more. There's more. Some characters have more stuff after their after their debut and others don't, so. The Sayori! Whoa! He he showed it! The exhibit will run all week, so if you want it, come see it with you. I am so happy. What? He displayed it after all! It doesn't stay in LeBlanc anymore. Wow. Things are changing so much. All right. Next one. Oh my God, dude. The Sayori's crazy. Because they were like, we can never convince anyone that this is the original. Nor should it be put in a, in a you know what I mean? Because Madarame screwed everything up so much that there was just like, it didn't, it wouldn't have done any good to be like, this is the original. This is the true one. This is my mom. You know, and I'm her son, but like life is seriously changing for everybody. I just don't know if I should believe it or not because it's almost too good to be true. Anyways, Makoto Nijima, AKA the girl that I romance, my queen. <laughs> yeah, Makoto, the bae. Sai! Her birthday? No. Oh. Oh my god! I didn't beg, I made it for- he made it for me. It's been a while- oh, Dude, I'm gonna romance her all over again if I keep watching this! <laughs> god, she's so perfect. Studies are more important than fish. Sai! I want to see more of Sai again. <laughs> Yo, are them two gonna have a combination attack in the- from the beginning, not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's no, wait, seriously? Ooh. Yo, let's go, Joanna. <laughs> Yo, great Drake. <laughs> Senpai. Oh, uh, Ryuji tries way too hard, I love it. Yo, I'm literally gonna like end up romancing her again, I swear to god. Yo! <laughs> Yo, who did she just spike there? Dude, she is. Oh my god. Jesus! I feel like I'm gonna romance Makoto again. <laughs> Holy shit, that is crazy. God, I love Makoto so much. I kind of want to romance um the new the new girl, um um Kasumi Yoshizawa just cuz she's the new girl. Let's go. It's nice to meet you too, Sakura-san. Are you using honorifics or not? <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cool that she plays more of a role than a support. I'm done too, in another sense. <laughs> the, this end of the summer vacation is exactly how I imagine it to be. God, I love her so much. The perfect picture. <laughs> He's doing his thing. He's being a Nari. Combine and transform. This doesn't look real. Is this like a dream? <laughs> what? Her too? What the heck? <laughs> Wait, she helps too? Wow. What was the other? <laughs> That's literally what 
what Junkrat does in Overwatch. Yo, my cheeks hurt so much! Oh my god, my cheeks. It's easy to misunderstand Sojo, but he means well. He hears me out when I complain about something. I cherish him <laughs> and what he gets from me. If it breaks, I'll surely fix it. We don't deserve her, man! Oh my god, get good! <laughs> wow. Wait, so what was her persona's name before? Wasn't it like Prometheus or something when it transforms? Wasn't it like a Necronomicon or something? It, it, like the first one... I don't remember what the first one's name was, but the evolution, the second awakening was like Prometheus or something. So them two combined too, that's so sick. And now it's like this Death Star destroyer thing. I don't, I can only imagine what this is, but she didn't say the name. Wow, this music is so good too. Dude, this is so, so wait, is Futaba always gonna get the end card? <laughs> Get good. Wow. Wow, man. And look at her outfit, too. She's so perfect. I love her so much. She's so innocent, man. This box art looks so sick, too. Every, like, literally everybody's on it. God, what is Kasumi's role? I can only imagine. All right, who's next? Haru Okamura. Yo, the original squad. When Morgana left us. <laughs> Ooh. Is that Mishima? Is it okay if I take the plastic bottles? Yo, my boy! Is it for your collection? Not exactly. The recycling company takes them to exchange for vaccines. I didn't know that. So this is an act of justice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about, dude. It'll be quick. I'll show you how to do it. Something like that. Haru, I'm so sorry that I like overlooked you. You just came into the game too late. I'm sorry. Yo! <laughs> the squad. Yo, the crit! The crit car! <laughs> Mona chan, no! <laughs> Oh my god, they're so perfect. Uh, I'm trying to think what was her code name. Don't tell me, chat. Don't tell me. No, her dad's alive! What? No way, dude. This is not real. Don't be so nosy. No way, dude. Dude, this can't be real. That His death sets into motion everything that happens him dying is how the the uh, him dying is literally how we end up getting played by 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 a catchy and how the the and how the public starts losing faith in us but he's alive i'm literally trying to think what the first trailer said the first trailer said something along the lines of like you can change something like you you can change I'm trying to think, dude. Is it possible to, like, will into existence a change in reality? I don't know how the fuck that's even possible. <laughs> but, like, with the fact that there's a god of control, I can easily imagine that some, some higher up or some higher power is allowing for this to happen. And I really think it has to do with this girl. Dude, that really took me for a loop. Also, uh, yeah, so her, her conf, like, her, her code name, wasn't it Noir? That's her conf, that's her code name, right, Noir? But yeah, dude, I, I can't, I'm trying to think, man. Cognitions can be rewritten. And if cognitions can be rewritten, does, how does that in turn affect rewriting reality? Because perception is reality. So if you're rewriting your perception, you're rewriting reality because all this shit doesn't happen. Was the first game not real? Was the first game like a dream sequence? The only thing I'm thinking about is I'm pretty sure Yalgabalf gives us a choice. And he's like, 
hey, you can either let me control reality and, and things will be in, 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 in a certain way, in a certain order. And if you deny me, then I'm just going to kill everything. I wonder if this is his other option. Like, I'm making life perfect for everyone. So, wondering if this is like an alternate realm under the God of Control's control. But the thing is, I just don't know if if it even is the God of Control of th at this point. Or if, this, if there's just like a different factor. Because this girl comes out of nowhere. And all of this stuff that shouldn't be happening is happening. So, I, I don't know how it worked for Persona 4. Because a friend of mine told me that <clears throat> from Persona 4 to Persona 4 Golden, the story really changes in a drastic way. And there's an added character in 4 Golden that wasn't in 4. And that included character, I think he said something along the lines of like that character really changed the, the dynamic of the game compared to the vanilla, vanilla 4. And that's why I'm wondering if this girl is going to, if 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 kasumi is like the red herring hence her red hair <laughs> i don't know i don't know uh i you know we'll have to wait and see i'm rambling at this point but that's all i can go off of she's not the only new one yeah that's true i just think like new in terms of like new characters in our party there's just an anomaly i just don't know where or who it is right now but this shit should not be happening her father should be dead morgana has one <laughs> Morgana! Mona, my boy! <laughs> oh, thank God. So hot. Where is this? What a festival? It's like a sauna here. Whose idea was it to come here? <laughs> it was yours. Oh my God, he has new animation. Uh, or new art. What idea? Dude, Morgana's gonna be so much more involved instead of just telling me to go to sleep all the time. I have an amazing, cool idea. Lady An will be madly in love with me. <laughs> Wait, what? No way, see Dude, him too! Zoro? Whoa, look at that stash! <laughs> Wait, so it's Zoro and Mercury? Wasn't it like Mercurius or something like that? Like his evolved persona? Dude, Zoro- Basically- <laughs> Basically, the wings on um, Mercury's legs, like the feet, like for Hermes, like Mercury, Mercurius or whatever his name was, basically just went into the mustache. <laughs> I just noticed that. Oh my god, even Morgana, everyone's getting a third awakening! It's just some of them were seeing and some of them were not. Oh my god, did you see that? Hold on. They literally just memed him. <laughs> that feeling when Joker doesn't go to sleep. <laughs> wow, look at that mustache. Look at that chest hair, dude. Did he say Diego? Hold on, is, did he say Diego? Diego! Alright, he's got a new name! <laughs> Alright, I'm so amazing! Leave it to me! God... I love Morgana so much. I was so heartbroken when he, like, faded away. Oh! So it goes something like that. <laughs> no good. Ah. That new- Oh! Life can be really tough. Oh, look at his ears are down. Dude, I'm gonna fall in love with this game all over again. I can't believe it's I can't believe it's possible to say that there's a game better than Persona 5 and it's called Persona 5 the Royal. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> <Girl, laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe it! Oh, God! He's an actual confidant! Like an actual confidant! It doesn't just raise with the story! <laughs> Give him the glasses! <laughs> Where are we? 
Oh my god, these two are the opposite. These two. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, you're like a wannabe joker. No! Dude. Do we get the wild card? We get Loki! Bro, we get the black mask! We get Pancake Boy! Hold on! Let's meet at this place next week. Though if you choose to live here in this reality! In this reality! It's a fake reality! It's not real! Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh! Oh my god, this isn't real. It's not real. None of it's real. How is this happening? Whose cognition is this? Though, if you choose to live here in this reality with your friends, that's another story. I was right on the money. I was like, there's no way that this is real. Especially when I saw Okamura alive. I'm like, no, he's supposed to be dead. Ryuji doesn't get on the track team. As heartbreaking as that is to admit or to say, like things aren't ha like, I want these things. Like this is a reality. You know what this reminds me of? You know what this reminds me of? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Naruto where uh, the infinite Tsukuyomi. It's like we're gonna we're going to create peace by putting everyone in the infinite Genjutsu where they all live in a perfect world. That's literally what this reminds me of. The same way that these two remind me of Kita and Light Yagami. I'm sorry, that's the same person of Light Yagami and and L from Death Note. That's literally what this is. And that's why I was saying I was like, is this the god of control controlling them? Because he was the one that was controlling society, and then he was like, okay, I'll give you a, I'll give you, you know, just let me control society, so that way shit doesn't go to hell. You know, this is what the people want. You can't deny the people's wishes. But we do deny it in the other, in, in the vanilla game we deny it, but is this, but, but then in my head I was like, but in this game maybe we accept it, and that's what this is. Holy shit, we get the black mask! We get Loki! <laughs> oh my god! Yo! Akechi is probably my favorite character in Persona 5. As fucked up as that might sound, it, I don't condone anything that he does. He's just a very complex, deep, interesting character who, who kept things interesting the entire way through. I love that his username is also, like his code name is also Crow. That's like an ode to crows and a murder of birds, a murder of crows. I, I, like, I just like that because that also ties into my username in a way. So, God, dude. So wait, do we get Robin Hood too? We get Robin Hood and Loki? He can use multiple personas like Joker can. He's literally the, the spitting image, like he's the, there are two sides of the same coin. So he can do what Joker can do. And like the whole purpose of his character was like, he's Joker, but going down the dark path and Joker's Joker, but the light path. Wow, look at that dude. <laughs> Wow. But then does that mean what does that mean for this what does that mean for the psychotic breakdowns? Because those psychotic breakdowns were happening the entire game. You were constantly hearing about it. You were constantly hearing about people resigning and 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 company leaders dying off and that was because, you know, Soju not Sojuro, um Shido was like killing off the competition and you know killing off okamura's competition so that way he could win pot you know he can join the political world and all that shit and he and akechi was basically his hitman that's another thing too we haven't seen any of the uh i assume they still exist but we haven't seen any of the already established palace user like owners like any of the uh the shadows like madarame like are we still dealing with the same ones are there new ones are these characters different just like the entirety of this of this game? Because even their palaces are different. I can't 
think in my head that after everything Akechi did, it's just going to be like a slap on the wrist. You're a good guy now. Join us. I feel like there has to be something more or maybe we stop him before it's too late. We stop him before he kills Okamura because he does redeem himself in the end, but I can't picture a redemption for Akechi, but no consequences for what he's done to the point where he just joins the Phantom Thieves and it's all hunky-dory. I can understand if we give him a chance because we're the only ones who knows what he's done. Um, especially if we deal with him before the cognitive Akechi does or before Shido does. You know what I mean? Especially since he's like the bastard child of Shido. I always felt like Akechi had like a shitty hand given to him. That's why I kind of... I understand, right? I have a lot of sympathy for his character. A lot of pity for his character. Um, because he does some fucked up shit. Um, but he's already like warped and deranged. Especially after he gets the metaverse powers. And his, and his persona and all that stuff. All the way from the pancake comment. I, it was in my mind. I was fighting myself back and forth. Thinking Akechi was good. Akechi was bad. Akechi was good. He's bad. We see his persona. He joins our team. What if he joins our team in Sai's palace. And he just stays on our team. Like he just never converts. And he doesn't screw us over or anything like that. Or maybe his time spent with us at that point changes him for the better and he kind of learns the error of his ways while he's with us and then he's just like yeah fuck shido i'm gonna help these guys out goro pancake boy pleasant boy akechi is on our team i can't believe it dude i cannot believe it man let's meet at this place again next week though if you choose to live here in this reality with your friends that's another story that's heavy dude that's fucking heavy. They're not even in a real reality. That's crazy, man. All right, who's next? Oh, Joker has a... Yo, Joker has one? What? Are we gonna... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, Joker, you're so... Yo! The twins! What? What? Yes. Hello? Oh my god, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> dude, Caroline and Justine? In the real world? No, don't do it. Oh, he's gonna... <laughs> dude, Caroline and Justine in the real... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but that was pretty funny. Oh my god, the dynamic duo. Our send is back to... Holy shit. What the heck was that? What gun does he have? What knife does he have? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Dude, did you see his gear? He has like a freaking magnum. Look at that knife he had. Look at that gun, bro. Hold on, let me back up a little bit. First off, that's a way different move than what Arsene usually does. Do you see this fucking piece he has on him right there? Hold on, let me back up one more time. Look at that fucking knife. Bro, this is like late game, like, gear right here. Oh my god, dude. Caroline and Justine in the real world. I wonder what happens with yes. Lavenza then. Because these two only last... Wow, Joker, you're a fucking beast, dude. He's like, no pain, no gain, let's get this! Oh my god, and he's got the twins on him. <laughs> oh, I love them both so much. Little tiny wardens in the real world. <laughs> wow. Joker, no! No! <laughs> That's what happens when you try to be cool, dude. Wow, man. I love that Joker and Akechi just... That's like the that's like the best that's like my favorite part of this whole thing, man. That's so sick. The black mask is with us. 
So we're still in this palace. I'm wondering whose palace this is then. We've seen this palace like four times now. From the perspective of different char like with different characters in it each time. I wonder if that is Kasumi's palace. Well, imagine like Kasumi's palace is like a, a reverse mementos. Like we constantly go into her palace and it evolves as the game progresses, similar to how like mementos works. I, I just don't know, because she awakens her persona in there, too. And, like, we get all these other... Unless all of this shit happens after after the base game. Because I know Kasumi's in the game from as early as, uh... From as early as, like, the start of the game when we transfer as well. God damn. Whoo, my boy. That was really good. Joker has one. Okay, so this is another trailer. PV2. All right, so we got all the individual ones out of the way. Yo, this game's gonna be so fucking dope. Let's try searching for who we really are. The door has been closed. The door that's been closed is now open. It's all thanks to Oni-san, right? Whoa! Huh? Um? Huh? Um? <laughs> yeah, you are something special. You, you, wait a minute. You are literally not even, who are you? That's like some crazy shit. That's like some, I'm more important than a main character. I'm like the main character. Mishima showed me the post in our underground weekly. Yoshizawa's doing. What? Yo! Holy shit, dude! Agnes? Yo, he's got a new one! Yo, these are all their wake, their wicked personas! Mementos! Dude, did I just call that? Who is this kid? Hello? Wait! He's blue? He's got yellow eyes? Hello? Velvet room much? A human in mementos? No, he's got yellow eyes. Who is this? He's got like a little toy car going on. Dude, look at this shit. Oh god. Oh god, no, not this palace, please. <laughs> oh, so they're all here, Madarame. Wow! Dude, did you see Yusuke's eyes? He's pissed! Ooh. Are you really fighting Joker right now? Is that what you're doing? Oh, okay. Never mind. I was about to say, you better double... You better think twice. Oh, I remember this! The Yukatas. The rain. What a cruel joke. I keep running away and I keep relying on you. But deep down, I always knew. Yo, Lin is like killing it with this music. This is when Joker killed himself. Oh my god! The god of control! Turn tail and run here? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, dude, this is literally a brand new game! They're all in the Morgana car! Wow! Takami! Who the heck? Oh, that's the... That's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I might romance the teacher now. Oh, they can't be doing this to me. I shall accompany you until the end. Shit, dude! Is this really the end? <laughs> wow! That was a fucking trailer, dude. It's time for us to part? Allow me to give you the final blessing before you depart on your journey. 
Dude, what the fuck is happening? What is going on? Hey, look at all this cool collector's edition fan art cool stuff that Americans can't get because we're Americans. Oh my god, dude, that was a fucking trailer if I've ever seen one. Oh my goodness. I have so many questions. First off, this shit right here. You got yellow eyes. That's already like, su I'm already suspect. You're already a suspect right now. Even in the, I, I know that they have yellow eyes when they rip their masks off, but I don't know about this girl. From all of the dialogue, it makes it seem, I don't know, it, it makes it seem like she's the anomaly. And something's gonna happen at the very end that's gonna be caused by her. Oh my god, dude, I'm so confused. It's not a bad idea. Mishima showed me, okay. Dude, that picked up quick. So this kid, first off, Mementos isn't like all red and crazy. It's like grayish. Is this Mementos still? I know it's called Mementos, but is this like the false realities Mementos? And then you got this little kid! This little- So I think blue, I think yellow eyes, I think Velvet Room. He literally looks like an infant, like, he looks like he belongs in the Velvet Room, basically. Especially with this image here, and it says he's a human in Mementos. Thank you for helping me, Mr. Raccoon. No, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Dude, this music, Lin, you are killing it. Also, I hate this palace. This is sick. The grapple hook and the boss fight. It's like the Power Rangers over here. Dude, Yusuke goes in. Please let this be the new boss music. If this is the new boss music, that's gonna be hype, dude. I mean, I love me some like blooming villain, but I just really like that music. What a cruel joke. I keep walking away and I keep okay, okay. Just gonna remove her mask again. See, a lot of a lot of what's happening there is revolving her. So that's either her palace or that's just a place that she can that she created of some sort. God, I'm I'm like throwing anything at the wall. None of this makes sense. I'm trying to make sense of it before playing the game. Yeah, the god of control is still a factor. I think. Are you really gonna throw away your ideals again? <laughs> god, I can't wait. Oh my god, like this is like so hard. You're giving me the doctor. You're giving me the tea tooth. Oh my god. I've been wondering if he said was actually right. Kamushira, Shiro, Akechi. Is this the what thou has decided? Shall I? I shall accompany until the end. This is such a good song, dude! Please stop. God damn, dude. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. The time- wait, hold on. The time has come. The time has come for us. Alright. It's come, it seems. I'm gonna give you this final blessing for your depart on your journey. Huh. I wonder who that was, whose perspective that was. Was that Joker's or was that Morgana's? Or was that the girl's? Or was that the little kid? Like, it's like, I don't know, dude. Let us continue to the third preview trailer. Why are you here? 
Damn! Yo, no! Mr. Kobayashawa! The transfer student with a criminal background. Yo, this piano is really doing it for me. Oh. Those who steal adults' rotten hearts. Yo, this is just intense, dude! I might be a slave for the rest When father died, I acted like a spoiled brat. Is this Sai? Or... Makoto? Oh my god! I'm wondering how much the god of control is still in this game, like... <laughs> Yo, colors flying high! <laughs> Yo, new animation? A catchy, a catchy. You better not betray us again. I swear to God. I like the new, the new, uh, the new enemies too. Whip your colors flying high. God, this is such a good song! God, this is such a good song, dude. That's gonna be the new- wait, what's the new- What- is that a song in the game? Like, is that a battle song or is it just a- Oh! Morgana reports! I don't know if any of this is new. Oh, let me skim this. <laughs> Morgana Report 2 is a bit old. Okay, um, I don't know if it has anything relevant. This might... Because uh, it says New Kazumi stuff. And palace and battle information. I'm just going to skim this really quick. It might have been stuff that- Oh, wait, 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 Cooperation? Huh. So there's some new, uh, some new confidant abilities. Oh, that's sick! The grapple hook's like, get over- Not even get over here, it's like, I'll go over there. And it pulls them? Subrosian Dimitri, thank you for subbing early. I do appreciate it very much. Okay. I can't believe Lettuce also translated this. It'd be nice if she became an ally, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna skim through this real quick. So I guess there's some new battle stuff going on. If you attack them, there's a chance they'll, it'll retaliate. Even if you attack them, it'll strike back. Okay. These guys are going to be troublesome. They're fearsome foes, but it seems you'll have a rare item if you beat them. Okay. Oh, wow. That's actually, if you look at it, that's in the palace. That's in the dungeon area of Kamushita's palace because you see the, the chains and the water running. Wow, so there's actually stuff to do that far down because that's only for the tutorial. You, like, never need to go back down there ever again. So, that's kind of interesting. When all three powers combine, collect all the oh, an accessory. Nice. Okay. All right. Nice. I'm gonna. Oh, hold on. I made a mistake there. All right. So that's basically all that that gives us. The explanation of Ishi. Palaces are places that change appearance based on what their palace owner perceives. Oh, the music! <laughs> the distortions gather together and produce what is called what I call Ishi. Distortion gather together to form Ishi. Ishi? Do you want me to explain it again? <laughs> Poor Ryuji. It's fine. Moving on. Oh wait, what? Oh, okay. So these are little snippets. Okay. Dude, I'm still blown away that the twins are in the game. Yo, they would destroy the Big Bang Burger challenge. Oh my god. Shut- Alright, let's check out this next one. Uh, what is that? 
Takudo Maruki. Okay, so this is the counselor, right? Hold on a second. Let me go back real quick. Alrighty. Next up, we got... This is the counselor, dude. Takuto Miruki, Maruki. As I said earlier, this is another guy. This is another character, too. No, not really, no. Eh? <laughs> what do you mean, eh? That rejection is more straightforward than I expected. But there will be snacks. You can eat some of it, but how about it? Are you trying to bribe us with candy? We're not children, exactly! Like, you're trying to bribe us with candy and snacks? Don't get baited so easily. Who is this guy? Why are you in the park? You look like you should be tending to a patient. That's right. Found you, Mr. Maruki. It's about time to start preparations. I'm actually the cook. Ooh. Yo, can you whip up? Um, oh, I guess he. Oh, he was the one that put the salt in. That's like the meme, dude. <laughs> He's just gonna be like, like that meme. I can cook for myself at home. Okay, this is the perfect opportunity to try that. Oh god, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's too much salt. <laughs> wow, you screwed it up, bud. Oh, he did it for the memes, though. He did it for the memes. I appreciate him. New features to the Velvet Room? They better keep the music the same. Yo, take them to Big Bang Burger? They get to hang out in the real world with you? That's so sick. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's loud. <laughs> My god, that was loud. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Wait, is this the opening? Is this the opening? Oh, no. I don't know if I want to watch this. I kind of want to watch this when I start the game. Mm, don't watch it. Next video. I, I, I'm so sorry, guys. I would watch it. I'm, I'm going to watch this when the game comes out. I, 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 there are some things that I want to save for the actual game when I play it. So I am not going to watch this. I, I do like that Colors Flying High appears to be the opening. I don't want to watch the opening and I don't want to see whatever main menu that they have for the game because apparently they showed that off too those are the only two things i don't want to watch i want to see those for the first time when i start the game and that apparently is the next one get me out get me out <laughs>